Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. So everybody, just uh, whatever comes out, comes out, right? Whatever spirit wants you to know, just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. And thank you so much everyone for all of your support and love and all of the comments and the confirmations, you guys. Thank you to all of my subscribers, everybody new here, welcome. <laughs> All right, so Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful collective today? Messages for the collective. Okay. Um, all right. Yeah. Somebody is going through a realization here. You were dealing with a player in the past, okay? This person had in and out energy, you know. They rushed into your life, took advantage of you. Um, and schmoozed you, right, got what they wanted, and left, okay? This person may have done this to a lot of people. And they're looking at their life now, um, thinking that, I mean, they walked away from some decent people here. You were one of them. I feel like you were probably the best person that they have ever found in their life. And they're really regretting this now. They're realizing that their toxic player ways have to change, Okay, and they need to walk away from a lifestyle or um, possibly even other people who enabled that lifestyle. They need to walk away like anybody that they played and toyed with, especially during this time of separation. Okay, gave them nothing as far as fulfillment, like none of this has fulfilled them. Okay, um, I, and I feel like there's something about your energy, right? Because your energy really isn't out here. The only part of your energy that I can feel is this sun, okay? And that is you triggering this person, okay? This is them being very triggered. And I feel like they're triggered because your energy is absent from this reading. Like you, you, out of all, of all the people that they could have played and used in the past, right? You're the one person that they really feel that impact of you leaving, okay? That's why I was saying I think you were the best person they ever met in their whole entire life, and they know it too. This is somebody who's very emotional, even though they've tried to keep it hidden, okay? Um, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, a Leo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, okay? But this is a realization of what their li player lifestyle has really cost them in the end. Like, it, they could have done whatever they wanted in life, had a really good time, you know? Life was, or the world was their playground. Everybody else was their playground, okay? They did impulsive things. Um, they would lie. They would uh, come in possibly with empty promises, you know, schmooze people, use them, okay, for personal moments of gratification or for their own satisfaction. Okay, but where did it get them? Where did it get them? It got them in the end. They're all up in their emotions, right? Because when they in doing this to everybody they also did it to you and they can totally like seriously they're feeling that absence yeah see this is somebody who did it to you and put you out in the cold i feel like they really miss you now they're realizing um they played the wrong person okay this is a sudden realization yeah you were their earth angel Ooh. This person could be getting some heavy karma for what they did to you, okay? For playing you, putting you out in the cold, treating you like you were nothing, okay? Knowing that you were struggling, but I feel like that's what they did to a lot of people. They just happened to do it to you. And your energy, the way you touch this person, you not only touch them, but you touch their soul because now they can't stop thinking about you they're truly hurting over losing an earth angel here. And that's what's triggering this person to make a life change. They're not just walking away from other people. They're walking away from a whole lifestyle. Okay? Because they realize here. They realize that they had an earth angel. And they, they didn't see it. They were only playing games. 
This person thought that they could do this with a lot of people and get away with it and not suffer any consequences. And boy, are they suffering. They're suffering. Okay. A ton of swords energy. Yeah, because they realize, you know, they tried to manipulate you and it didn't work. You, yep, thank you, Spirit. You were probably the only one um, out of everyone that they manipulated that wasn't going to play their games. You know, you kind of turned your back and turned away from this person and they realize it now. Now you're, you're the only one that they want. Okay, you're, they could probably go back and get whatever karmic individual they were sleeping with before, or they could probably go out and play people that, you know, are still in negative, dark energy, but they can't do it to you. They can't do it to you. You're just too strong. This person may even feel like, you know, they're out of your league a little bit. You know what I'm saying? They may even feel like they don't deserve you after all of this. I, I'm kind of getting the sense that they are kind of feeling that way. Like they, like they don't deserve you. You know, they feel unworthy because they know how badly they've manipulated people. Yeah, they're, they know they're under judgment too. They can feel this. And they can feel you making a decision to leave this person behind because of it. Okay? They, they, it's like they didn't know at the time when they were playing you and using you um, that you were going to end up being like the love of their life and the one person that they want back. They didn't see this coming. Yeah, and the one person they want back. What did I say? Four of Wands. They want you back. Yeah, I feel like they're they're kind of angry with themselves is what I'm picking up on. They're angry with themselves because, you know, like I said, they had all kinds of fun, but where did it really get them in, in the long run, you know? Yeah, they did not see all of this. They did not plan on falling in love with anybody. They didn't plan on meeting somebody that they absolutely couldn't get over. They never planned on feeling this way about you. I'm, I'm just getting the sense that this person really had no idea they were playing with an earth angel. And an earth angel, like I said, you touch people in a way that they can't forget about you. You touch them at a soul level. Okay? Um, just being around you can trigger someone into a transformation. Okay? Seriously, and that's what happened to this person. Okay, now this person is in love. What do they do now, right? Because now they've hurt you so bad um, that you're moving on away from them. Like, how do they get you back in? This one wanted to stay. Yeah, and, this, and they turn their back on you for possibly years. Okay, and now and you walked away when this person turned their back on you and you realized that they were playing you, you walked away from them. You're you're no longer extending that cup of love. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, heavy on Cancer, Sagittarius, Leo, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Now you have your boundaries up. Okay, more Leo energy. And you're closing out this cycle. Okay? Here's the thing. You knew what you deserved this whole time. You knew your worth. You know your value. And you've got standards here. Okay? And you knew that this person wronged you. And they needed to come in and make it right. And you are you weren't going to budge to go towards them. No, no. Mm -mm. They were supposed to come towards you, but now you're saying, you know what, it's took you too long. It's took you too long. I'm not waiting anymore. I'm making a judgment call here. I'm ending the situation. I'm moving on with my life. Okay? Um, yeah, and you're, you're upgrading here, too, as you go. 
Okay, so you could be even making a house move here. Upgrading into a beautiful home, something like that. You're just moving forward and you're you're shutting this connection down. Okay, because because you've got standards, because you know your value, because you know you deserve better than the way you were treated. You know, you could have been dealing with the Leo Aries Sagittarius. Okay? This player here. You know, I feel like they're jealous, they're envious. They're looking back at their toxic lifestyle. You know, and where the devil got them. Okay? They were messing with the blessing. They were mistreating the Holy Grail cup of love. And now this person is realizing it. This is someone crying over spilled milk. Blaming their, it's like they're, I don't know, it's, like, it's almost like they're blaming the devil. You know? They're kind of, um, they're upset with themselves, but they only have themselves to blame. They know it's their player, the player energy they had that got them into this. Okay? They were very immature. And now they have to carry the burdens of what they did to you, where their all the fun boy attitude got them, okay, and all that they lost. This is them carrying the burdens of their own toxic lifestyle. This person could also have some addictions. They could be, um, you know, addicted to alcohol, any kind of substance. It could even be something like gambling, okay. This person, like, I'm seeing you in a financial struggle, in a vulnerable situation. This person could have put you there. If you were together with this person for, a, a, um, like, a long amount of time, you could, they could have put you in the poorhouse, okay, because of some kind of possible addiction, you know? But I, I'm just, I feel like... Um, I feel like they know what they did to you. They're, they're accepting of that. They're angry. They're angry with themselves. They're angry at, at where their life is, what their life has turned into. And, um, and they fully realize all that they lost when they lost you. Okay, this person, I feel like they want to change. They don't want to be a player anymore. But they also may have some bad habits that they need to let go of, okay? Yeah, see, and this is what it is. They had they had a beautiful connection. They had it beautiful and happy for a little while. Okay? You were the holy grail cup of love. They see it now. All right? I feel like they're crying over this as well. Um, but they lost you. This is what they lost. They missed out. They missed out on an earth angel because they mistreated you. Yeah, this person is somebody who drinks a lot. That could have been a big issue. Okay? They're regretting that now. Honestly, I got to say, though, drinking is a problem for this person, but it's not their main issue. Their main issue is that they mistreat other people. That's their biggest issue, that they use other people. Okay, people aren't here for their personal gratification. All right? People aren't meant to be treated like a piece of meat. So I feel like that's their main problem. And they know it. They've got a couple of problems. They've got some kind of um, bad habit, habit, addiction, and the way that they've treated others in the past. I feel like this person, they do want to change. They want to change, but I feel like when it comes to your connection, it's too late. You know, you don't want any part of the toxicity. You know, you don't want anyone who's, who has a, a, the, runs the risk of being a player. You don't want somebody with toxic addictions. You know, you don't want that in your life. You're trying to keep your life clean. And I feel like you have, and I feel like you graduated the last cycle beautifully, and you're ready to move forward now, healed and determined to have a victory in life. You know, 
Yeah, there's two things that this person has an issue with themselves. And they know it, though. Okay? They know it. I feel like there are, they may even be praying for God to help them break these nasty habits. Okay? They're going to want to come back in and apologize to you. But I feel like you are filling your new life with other things. You're in the process of celebrating right now. Celebrating getting over a really difficult cycle. Celebrating getting over that heartache and betrayal. Okay? And taking a leap of faith into your new future. You're, I feel like you're cutting this person off. This is making a decision. This is protecting your heart. Sorry about that. Yeah, this is you making a decision, protecting your heart, right? And trying to heal from the pains from the past, using your intuition, blocking this person out. And I feel like this is your decision here, totally. You know, yours and the divine's. This person may want to come back in and give you an apology, but and you may have already forgiven them. I feel like you had to to move forward. You know, I feel like this person, um, spirit wants them to give you an apology because you deserve your justice. So they're about to come in and give you your justice, but that doesn't mean that you're going to take them back. Okay, that doesn't mean they get to come back in. And I feel like you're protecting yourself here. Okay. You could be a Gemini. You could be a Virgo, Aries. Take it how it resonates. This person that you were dealing with could be a Pisces, Leo, Aries, Sag, um, Capricorn. Let's see what they want to say. Okay. What does this person want to say to my beautiful collective? I wasn't planning on having anything serious when we met. I'm telling you, but I can't deny I'm falling for you. I, I told you, this person was a player, and they, had, they fooled around, they fell in love, and now the one that they're in love with is leaving them behind. Um, be patient, because I'm afraid of commitments, yeah? See, and this person, they want you to wait so that they can go through a change. They know what they need to change about their life, but you're not waiting anymore. You're just not. Um, I wish you would knock on my door. Yeah, this person, I feel like they ha they used to, they're very used to having people coming and chasing after them, you know, and you're not going to do that. You were probably the one person who didn't. I miss our conversations and the sound of your voice. They miss that angel energy. I'm telling you, I hope to have a future with you one day. You are so beautiful inside and out. No matter who I am with, my thoughts always lead me back to you. Yeah, they haven't been able to get over you. They haven't been able to stop thinking about you. Okay. You were probably the one person that they ever toyed with that knew their value. Okay? I'm secretly obsessed with you. I'm not the same person. Yeah, this person, they do want to change their life. Okay? But I feel like it for this connection, it may be too late. I know I hurt you. I don't want to hurt you again. See, they want to change. I remember how we used to laugh and talk for hours about everything. Yeah, this person misses you, collective. No other compares to you. And that's what I was just saying. You may have been the one person out of everyone that they played that knew her value. Okay? You, you had standards. You have self-respect. And you weren't going to allow this person to play you again. And I feel like um, they have they have newfound respect for you. Okay? Um, yeah, and you, now you're the only person that they want. So you totally um, triggered this player into a completely, like a complete life change. All right? And they are working on it. They are. But by the time... 
this person um, is ready for you, it may be too late. Okay? Anyway, um, that's what I have for this reading. I do hope this helps and resonates. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Yay! Subscribe to my channel, you guys. Join this awesome soul tribe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.